right, he sees me. Now, the fucked up thing about this one is it can actually spew fire. Yes, eat it! Yes! <laughs> I got it! Uh, are you? Oh, you're still spewing fire? Oh, you're still spewing fire! I'm just gonna very, very quickly scan you while you do that. What's up, guys? Welcome back to some more Subnautica. First of all, what? Second of all, what? Like, <laughs> why? Why are you in here, buddy? This, this is, oh, this is so weird. Cause if it dies, does it just die in here? Okay, either way, is we, oh, what, what? I was about to fly through the roof. Also, I need to be very, very careful that I don't damage my own base in the process of doing this. But what? Like for every single episode, this gets more and more weird. Okay, I think, oh no, he's not dead yet. Is he? He's kind of switch. Okay, you know what? Screw it. We have other things to do in this episode. Okay, Bessie. You have never been this close before. She's just here. Were you the one that were in my base? And now you're coming to revenge or whatever? Hi. You're also abnormally large, at least in the way that I remember it. But why are you here? I mean, there are reef bags around my base, but they should be like out here or something where there's actually space. This is just dangerous, dude. Oh my lordy Lou. You're, you're, you're really, really, really close to my base. And this is my food and water habitat. You better go away. All right, so I got some food and water here, but there is one more thing that I've actually well, forgotten to do, because in the previous episode, I saw this creature egg, an unidentified egg. So I want to go in here and see if we can actually hatch it. It probably won't happen today, but it's still worth a try. Enter alien containment. Hello, buddies. How are you doing? I forget. Can the spade fish actually... Hi, boomerang. Can the spade fish actually do damage? I forget. And also, the boomerang had a mouth. I think they all do, but like that was actually weird to see. Oh, oh hello. Right, so we're going to do this. Uh, can I actually scan this? Maybe figure out what kind of creature it's from. Oh, the scrolling in the menu is weird now. Okay, I cannot. That, oh, oh, it's jiggly. Oh, it's jiggling. I gotta get out of here. All right, now finally I can get to talk about my little mission here for today. Okay, you're also here. That's great. Because I have a mission, which is to scan all of the Leviathans. Now, there is a few things that I think I need before I go down there and actually do it, which is the reinforced dive suit and also my stasis gun, which I, of course, already have. However, synthetic fibers... Is that is that basic materials? Fiber mesh? No... Okay, interesting. Advanced materials, no, and electronics, forget about it. It should not be in here. So I guess I'm not gonna get that suit, but I'm still gonna get my damn stasis gun, cause I need it. Aha, stasis rifle. This is good, but I think this is the only thing I need. I also have a couple of batteries. Oh, I need to charge that. But since I'm not gonna be using the habitat builder or the repair tool, hopefully on my Seamoth, I will then have enough batteries to actually, hopefully make them go into stasis long enough so that I actually can scan them. The thing about this is there are some objects in this game that take like a very short time, just five seconds or something to scan. And then there's something that takes way longer. I assume, because of the difficulty with the encounters of these leviathans, that these will take a very long time to actually scan. Oh, hello there. You're still here. Okay, that's good. All right, so the very first place we need to go to is the... Uh, oh, wait, wait, what? Uh, Bessie? You okay over there? <laughs> that's weird. Okay, I'm gonna find the... Uh, there it is. All right, let's go there. Oh, right. I, I should probably, probably have done something about that, but yeah. This is the first Leviathan, which is the Reaper, and it shouldn't be too hard, I say now. All right, this should be in the vicinity. Okay, right. So, because I don't want to lose my Seamoth and all of my cool shit in it, I'm gonna get out. Now, this game here, it really, really loves to dump a Leviathan on me whenever I'm least expecting it, which I'm hoping it will definitely not do this time around, because the surprise factor is one thing with it coming out of, like, the water where you can't necessarily see where it's coming from at the first glance. Second thing, which is much worse, is just to have it spawn directly on top of you. Oh, oh, there it is! Oh my god, I found it! Okay, right. Four is the scanner. All right, okay, great. So, if I hold right-click... I'm just testing out, like, the ammo and, like, the charging of the shots or whatever. Oh, okay, it looks like it hit it, but apparently not. I need you to get over here, which is a thing I didn't think I would say ever. Hi! Hi, buddy! How you doing? Eat this, why don't ya? Right now, I should... Oh, he's still... Okay. I should probably just be a little bit faster with what I'm doing here, but actually, it looks... It looks like it's somewhat pretty fast. 
at scanning this, again, I'm like super freaking nervous. But I think the bigger the ball you do with the uh, stasis gun, oh, thank God it's done, let's get out of here. The bigger the ball you make with the stasis gun, the longer it takes for it to, yeah, 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 see, it's drinking now, oh my God. Hi, oh no, no, hey, I still have a fucking stasis gun, no. You don't even come near me when I don't want you to anymore. All right, so I just used 19%. With that encounter that's okay and i still have another one so i think the battery is actually you know not gonna run out before we get all of them oh oh hey they're still here the babies are still here oh they did not get very far hello buddy how you doing i should probably stop saying that but okay and now we can actually scan them i thought we maybe couldn't do that in the previous episode but here we are all right let's head into the belly of the beast Actually, the beasts, because there's two. All right, here we are. Oh, whoa, what the hell happened to my hand? <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm not going to question it. Right, so this is the first beast, and then, of course, there's the hardcore one out there. I kind of forgot about this one, like, in terms of what we need to scan. So if I can... Did I actually do that? Okay. Hello, how are you? You're looking sleepy. Ah, <sighs> you're kidding. You're absolutely kidding me. Oh, Oh! Oh, it just disappeared! Uh, okay, well, thank you. Now, if this one doesn't do it, please... Okay, right, it is actually disabling itself. That's really, really good. Out here... Oh, there it is. That is the real beast. Um... I don't have any thermal protection. Is that good or bad? I don't know. Let's get out there and see what we can find out. There we go. Oh, I think it's very, very bad. Hello, buddy! Get your ass over here. All right, he sees me. Now, the fucked up thing about this one is it can actually spew fire. Yes, eat it. Yes, <laughs> I got it. Uh, are you? Oh, you're still spewing fire. Oh, you're still spewing fire. I'm just going to very, very quickly scan you while you do that. Have fun in that stasis bubble while I'm out here scanning away. Oh, my God, get back. Oh, get back. Oh, no, 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 no. Is it coming after me? Is it coming? Oh, it's still up there. Okay, that's good. But it can still spew fire. Why is that? And why is my vision becoming all black? It looks like it's growing into my vision. Okay. Ah, there we go. Now, this... Okay. Okay, it's this amount of dickery, isn't it? Unlock doors. Because screw that noise. All doors are now unlocked. Great. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on a second. These things were supposed to be hatched. Are you okay? What the hell happened there? Hi, by the way. Hi, how you doing? I gotta stop doing that. Anyways, the last Leviathan that we need to scan should be out in the void. It is also in the Lost River, where I think I caught a glimpse of it when I was traveling through there back in the day. But this is very, very guaranteed that we're gonna see it if we actually venture out into the void. So that's what I'm gonna do. What the fur? Okay, there's the hand thing again. That's great. Now, before we venture out there, I think I need this. Just, oh, no, I dropped it. All right, get your ass back here. There we go. Yes, the hull reinforcement. I'm going to get out of the Seamoth, but I still don't know whether or not that can still be a target if I'm not in it. So, yeah, safety first. It's getting blue out here. Okay, and I also forgot, like, the maximum crutch, crush depth. Oh, entering ecological death zone. That has to be the void. Oh, that so very much has to be the void. Okay, oh, oh, no, oh, no, 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 oh, fuck. What? <laughs> it just killed me like that. Oh my god, okay. Remember what I said about them maybe targeting the sea moth regardless of not whether or not I was actually in there? Well, that's still a fear, so if that icon starts moving, I'm in big trouble. Where are they? Where are they? Oh, okay, that's just a stream of fish. Um, yeah, yeah, this is, this is great. I mean, even a stasis gun is making me... Oh, oh, there you are. Battery depleted! What? Okay, uh, there we go, there we go. Eat that, eat the fuck out of it. Thank you. Okay, this one too? No. How about this? God damn it. Okay, so I need to catch the head of it. Is that a thing? I think I need to do that. Oh, nothing else around. Oh no, it's gone now. Oh no, it's very, very, very much gone. Oh, I know it's a video game and in real life I can't get hurt, but man, it is. Oh, it's so spine tingling. Oh, there you are. Okay, I see you. Come at me, bro. I got a freaking st- No, you're- you- Oh my god, you fucking fuck. Hi, can you get back here? You're not supposed to go in there, I think. I actually have no idea. Also, the batteries- Okay, I have two others with 100%, so I should be okay. Uh, 
I hear something. Oh, oh, fuck! Oh, no, no, no! Don't fucking kill me again, you stupidy schmuggity schmuck. Eat a lot of this. Okay, this is the one and only chance. Yes, yes, fucking, yeah, no, 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 because then that one is a lot weaker. Two, okay, good, and full charge. Perfect. Fucking scan right now. No, no, you do not attack me while I scan you. You do not attack me while I scan you. Oh, thank God. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. Hurt on us too. Oh, God, no, no, eat this. Okay, right, I'm just gonna ah, very quickly go to my Seamoth. I don't, oh, I'm, I'm like a fucking little girl right now, but oh, I think it's understandable considering these things that are after me. Okay, okay, cross dev, that's great. If I don't get crushed by the Leviathans, I will be crushed by the ocean. This is spine tingling as fuck. <laughs> I don't, oh my god, I just want to get up to the surface to see some form of fucking light. This is insane. My only goal right now is to get into land and just stand on solid ground above water. That's all I want. Then I feel safe. Until then, uh-uh. Because they could be right behind me. Oh, salvation is in sight. Salvation. <laughs> or land, but land is damn salvation right now. Stop it so we don't take any damage. And get the fuck up on shore. Oh, oh thank God. Oh, okay, now, I know that there are still things that could kill me here, but honestly, I would much rather be killed up here than the Leviathans down there. And I forgot to turn off the light. I'll do that in just a second. Now, it is time to actually check out the, uh, oh, what is it, databank? Uh, July, uh, I'm gonna find it real quick. All right, I found it here. Ghost Leviathan. This creature must be one of the largest on the planet. I think so. Muscled interior body surrounded by a translucent outer membrane Body coloration suggests adaption for deep, low-light environments, hence the void and the lost river. Portable migratory behavior. This specimen was likely born far from where you encountered it. We got lightweight and agile, capable of charging its prey. Well, that's what I was trying to do. So I got nothing out of this scan other than maybe the fact that it's somewhere else on the planet as well. Reba Leviathan. Leviathan-class species are vast organisms at the top of their respective food chains. Aha. Uh -huh. This species is a streamlined hunter which develops sight and echolocation capability. The deep roar emitted by the Reaper at regular intervals is effectively sonar. If you can hear it, the Reaper can hear you. Okay, interesting. Right, let's keep on moving here. Four powerful mandibles. Uh, this Leviathan is capable of locking prey in place and drawing it with reach, uh, within reach of its jaws. Simulated pressure exceeds Seamoth Crush resistance. Yes, it does. Oh, and the sun is coming up, by the way. But, uh, okay. Scan specimen measured 55 meters long. Observed circling its prey and attacking from behind. This creature is almost all muscle. Very little brain, no sense of morality. Just muscle, sinew, okay, and teeth. What? Prey everything. Predators... Maybe the ghost leviathan, because it's bigger, I don't know. Motivational note, this life form has been categorized as a leviathan-class predator. Congratulations on getting close enough to scan it and, what, living to see the results. Yay, assessment, extreme threat, avoid in all circumstances. Actually, now that I've scanned all of the leviathans, this one is not nearly as scary as it should be. But let's move on to the next one here. Sea Dragon Leviathan, a colossal aquatic specimen or species with reptilian features. It appears to have evolved to consume molten minerals and expel these materials at its prey. So that's why it can... Oh my god, that's mind-blowing. It is, it is legitimately swallowing molten material to convert it into the fire that it's breathing out. That is insane. Where was I here? Hang on a second. Dead tissue. Tissue analysis reveals this specimen consists of one-third inanimate materials focused around the chest area, which would be, well, there's fire spewing and everything. Consumption and retention of mineral substances may explain the life form's ability to withstand extremes of temperatures. Yeah, makes sense. Forearms. Evolutionary distinct forearms are used for both propulsion and manipulation of objects. Findings suggest evolutionary divergence from other species on the planet many generations ago. The sea dragon may be one of the oldest species encountered so far. Tentacles. Seven tentacles provide unparalleled speed. The scan specimen measures 112 meters in length. What? Okay, that's like almost as twice. Actually, that is twice as big as the reaper that I scanned. But okay, prey everything predators... Question mark. Assessment. Extreme threat. All right, guys. Well, I want to thank you all so much for actually going with this journey here. Like, going on this journey with me. Because, 
scanning those things and then living to see the results. I mean, it was surprisingly quick to scan, but it was still difficult, at least with the uh, Ghost Leviathan there, considering that there's multiple of them out there. Oh, no, I don't like that. But either ways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this episode. We're about to have an eclipse to end on, which is great. Also, I still haven't called the uh, sunbeam down, so perhaps that is it for the next episode. But either ways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.